Oh, uh, como estas? And just in case you don't know what that means, that is, hey, how are you? In Spanish. But yeah, I am back, and I'm very sorry for not doing. Ooh, shaking computer. But for not doing my subbing duties, like, my computer has completely crashed. I'm just now getting it back. There was this awful, awful virus on it. And yeah, I'm just now getting my back computer back. The virus completely shut my computer down. It it was pretty crazy. But the virus is going through Yahoo and Facebook. So if you see anything that looks suspicious or random, I advise not getting on it. I don't even know how I got it personally, but yeah, I got it. Anyways, I'm gonna answer the questions, which are on my cell phone. Yeah, I love my cell phone, the little back lip. Anyways, okay, Emily said, what's your favorite musical? Um, I don't really watch musicals that much, but I really like Grease. I think Grease is pretty cool. And when I was in 8th grade, we went on one of them class trips to New York. And yeah, we went and watched, what was it, The Lion King on Broadway. That's pretty cool too, you know, being able to see a live musical, like, that big. But I fell asleep during it. A bunch of us did. I don't know what was going on with that. But Lauren said, what would you do if you could help people around the world? <laughs> well, I... Honestly, would rather do a hands-on kind of thing. I would rather go to places that need help and do something to help them than just pay money and raise money. Because, you know, raising money, yeah, that'll help out a lot, but I don't really get any satisfaction out of just giving money. I think I'd rather do work and help them and actually be there. But next question is from Stacy, and she said, are you the best in the morning? Pots wise, it kind of goes back and forth. Attitude wise, yes I am. I'm a morning person after I wake up and stay awake for a little while. Because you know when I first wake up, I'm just like, leave me alone, get out my face, and I'll be alright. But yeah, I'm attitude wise, I'm pretty alright in the morning. But pots wise, one morning I'll be feeling really, really awful. And then the next, I'll be feeling great in the morning. And then I'll feel really crappy in the afternoon. I don't know what goes on with that. It's really weird. But Next question is... Hmm. God, I can't see it. Yeah, my phone's dying, so it was like going in and out. But Rachel said, what's your favorite networking site? Facebook. I don't have a MySpace anymore. I just deleted that today actually but or was it yesterday it was one of those but I really like Facebook I hate Twitter cannot stand Twitter and I like Skype Skype and Facebook I have a Skype so add me it's Abby no it's Abigail and then a little underline Johnson 12 okay anyways if you don't find me it's probably 012 instead of 12 but yeah those are my two favorite but the only problem I have with Facebook now is People are complaining about their business. Like, everybody knowing it. Well, you shouldn't have posted it on Facebook. Like, you find out everything over Facebook. It is crazy. You don't find out anything that somebody telling you anymore. It's over Facebook. But people are posting way too much on Facebook. They're saying, like, really off-the-wall things and things that we do not want to know. Personal business is still personal business. You don't post it on Facebook. Um, next question is from Jenny, and she says, do you relate things to pots a lot? Well, I'm kind of a medium for that, because, like, some days I'll talk about it a lot, and then the next I'm just like, uh, but I try not to, what, reference it, the pots, anything to pots a lot, because, you know, but if somebody asks me about pots or something comes up about pots, yeah, I'm going to talk about it. I mean, it's part of my life, so, you know, I got to share it. And it's fun to share because a lot of people don't know about it. You know, spread the awareness, guys. Spread the awareness. Talk about it. Um, I was in a pageant, and my subject for an interview was pots. And, yeah, I got a lot of questions from that because no one knew what it was. And that was a big surprise to me. But then again, I didn't know what it was when I was diagnosed with it. Um, Colleen, she says, do you have tremors? First of all, Colleen, I watched your video, and... I must have been out of the loop, preceded that, or it just came up, but congratulations on being the Youth Ambassador. That is a really big deal. But she says, do you have tremors? And 
it depends what you mean by tremors. Um, some people will say, like, tremors is just, gently, you know, shaking. And then other people will say, like, tremors is, like, convulsing pretty much and looking like you're having a seizure. Um, yeah, um, I'm more of the shaky type. And, like, my hands will start shaking or my legs will start shaking or something. It's really weird. But right before I couldn't walk for three weeks, um, I passed out. And it like I was convulsing in the floor. They said it like I was having a seizure. And then, you know, even after that and before, so, um, like, my legs would shake really, really bad. And so that's what happened with that. But anyways, I'm sorry for it being so shaky, guys. Like, I don't know what's going on with my webcam. Oh, well, I guess I'll fix that later. But I'm watching the VMAs right now. I don't know if any of y'all are, or have watched it, but it, so far it's pretty good. Um, Chelsea Handler is a trip. I love her show, Chelsea, lately. But I'm waiting on Kanye West or somebody to come up and interrupt again. God, that was so funny slash bad last year. God, that was hilarious, though. So. And so far, it's not as funny as it usually is. Mm, I don't know why, but I guess it'll get better later on through the night. Um, Pots Wise this week has been pretty good. And then I only missed, was it one or two days? This week? I think it was one. Yeah, it was one. But because of feeling bad and sick. Another thing is I have missed my maximum days for the whole entire school year already. But since, you know, I have POTS and hemoplegia migraines, it's excused. But if I didn't have that, I would have already missed my limit for the school year. That's a great way to start off school, especially considering that I've only been in school for, what, four weeks? And I just think it's kind of ridiculous. But I don't know. But I do have something to talk about. This is really aggravating me. Right, my brother's birthday was two days ago because yesterday was September 11th. And everybody, let's please keep all the families in our prayers from September 11th, even though it was nine years ago, I'm sure. They're still having a hard time with that. I mean, even our country's still having a hard time with that. So just imagine how the families feel. Anyways, my brother's birthday was September 10th. Him and his little friend Darren playing around. But, yeah. It is really aggravating me. My brother is 8 years old and my sister is 9. And they know way too much stuff over YouTube and TV and all that stuff. And Facebook, too. I mean, yeah, they, yeah, they have a Facebook but do not add them. I don't care who you are. Do not add my brother and sister. Thank you. Anyways, <laughs> they know a lot of stuff that they should not know. Like, it's... They say some pretty off-the-wall stuff a lot and stuff that they should not be saying. And, I mean, my sister, she'll she's very outspoken. And she will just come right out with it. And, you know, they're too little to be knowing some of the stuff they know. So, it really irks my nerves when people post stuff on YouTube and Facebook and they put stuff on TV that should not be showing. I mean, even the Disney Channel shows and Nickelodeon shows are so mature now. Like, a bunch of my, me and some of my friends are watching them. Little kids do not need to be watching them. I mean, it's on the kids' channel. But yet, it is mature enough to be, like, something on MTV. I'm not saying, like, Jersey Shore mature. But just one of them things. And it really aggravates me because little kids are picking up on a lot of stuff. And they should not be knowing it. But happy birthday to my brother again. Because he's getting old on me. I'm almost dead. But today's been a pretty good day. I've been doing homework and chores a lot. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's been a really good day. A really good day. I was feeling really good too. So. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, watch the VMAs tonight if you haven't already or haven't started already. And I hope everybody has a good night, a good day, and a good week. So, good night, and I'll probably see y'all Sunday. Bye. Hey, still feeling myself, I'm like out of control. Can't stop now, more shots, let's go. Ten more rounds, can I get a KO? Pop around, she's trying to make me pose. Came to party till I can't no more. Celebrate, cause that's all I know.